File item 277, AB 2256, Mainshine. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2256 by Assembly Member Mainshine and others, an act relating to homelessness. Mr. Mainshine, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. The information collected by the dozens of state funded agencies and nonprofits about homelessness in California is often kept in isolation. In order to take effective steps to fight homelessness, we need to standardize the manner in which this data is shared and increase public access so as to elevate engagement on this critical issue. Existing law provides for various programs to provide services for people who are homeless within the California Health and Human Services agencies. AB 2256 would require a provider to submit a simple report to the California Health and Human Services Agency that contains specified data regarding the homeless. In addition, this bill would require the data reported to be published on the California Health and Human Services Open Data Portal. Uh, when I created Project 25 in San Diego, we ended up collecting not just the most comprehensive homelessness data in the history of San Diego, but when we went to speak with HUD, uh, we had the most comprehensive data in the country, which was critical to dealing with this issue. Uh, this strengthens the abilities of those working on homelessness to provide relevant information. Thank you and respectfully request your aye vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-72, no zero. The measure passes. File item 278, AB 2271, Quirk. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2271 by Assemblymember Quirk, an act relating to electricity. Mr. Quirk, you are recognized. Good afternoon, Speaker and members. AB 2271 requires the California Public Utilities Commission to conduct an independent peer review of research programs proposed by an electrical entity and publish the results on the PUC work website. This review is intended to undercover, uncover problems or unresolved issues in a preliminary or draft work product and facilitates revision of the draft product into a final product that reflects sound technical information and analysis. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-73, no zero. The measure passes. Mr. Calderon, you're recognized for your motions. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I request, uh, I move to suspend joint rule 28, 28.1, and 29 to permit the appointment of five conferees to the conference committee on SB 826 relating to the Budget Act of 2016. Without objection. Oh, oh sorry, that's a roll call. Ms. Waldron, uh, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. We are okay with this motion and support. Motion by Mr. Calderon, seconded by Ms. Waldron. This takes 54 votes. The clerk will open the roll. All those, this, Mr. Calderon and Ms. Waldron requesting an I vote. Mr. Calderon and Ms. Waldron requesting an I vote. Clerk will close the roll, tally the votes, I-73, the measure passes. No zero. Rules are suspended. Mr. Calderon, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I request unanimous consent to permit the budget conferees to add their votes to roll call votes taken on this day of present while they attend budget conference committee hearings and briefings. Without objection. Returning to the file, file item 279, AB 2279, Cooley. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2279 by Assemblymember Cooley and actually in the mental health. Mr. Cooley, you're recognized. 
Colleagues, this is a bill that will support oversight, accountability, and problem solving in mental health. Since the 2004 adoption of Proposition 63, funding is available for mental health that goes into the counties. Nobody, and there are reporting requirements for how that funds are used, but it is not accumulated in one co common setting where folks can see how different counties are addressing mental health. This will put all this data that's already required to be gathered together online for the public to see and learn from what we are doing in the state in our various counties on mental health. Request an I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes I-74, no zero, the measure passes. File item 280, AB 2318, Lowe, the clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2318 by Assembly Member Lowe, an act relating to the Political Reform Act of 1974. Mr. Lowe, you are recognized. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker and members. AB 2318 is necessary to streamline the disclosure and reporting rules and maximize the transparency for campaign-related purposes. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-74, no zero. The measure passes. File item 281, AB 2327, Cooley. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2327 by Assemblymember Cooley and Act Related Crimes. Mr. Cooley, you are recognized. Colleagues, AB 2327 uh, updates the penal code with respect to luring minors for various types of things for which prosecution is available to include luring them for human trafficking. Very timely statute needed in the wake of the rise of the Internet and the way in which... Uh, persons engage in predatory activity online or request an I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-73, no zero. The measure passes. File item 282, AB 2330, Ridley Thomas. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2330 by Assemblymember Ridley Thomas, an act relating to real estate licensees. Mr. Ridley Thomas, you are recognized. Thank you, Speaker. AB 2330 would require the real estate commissioner to disclose on the Bureau of Real Estate's website every licensee, whether that licensee is a, an associate license or if the licensee is also a broker, and every responsible broker with whom the associate licensee is contractually associated. This is a bill to help the consumer identify the responsible broker that supervises the licensee they are working with. With that, I would respectfully request an I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the vote. I-72, no zero. The measure passes. File item 283, AB 2353, McCarty. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2353 by Assemblymember McCarty, an act relating to teacher professional development. Mr. McCarty, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This measure adds culturally responsive instruction as a school climate element or under the local control funding formula LCAP, LCAP plans and also authorizes funds from the 2015-2016 budget to be used for this purpose. In sum, this helps ensure that our school teachers are more connected to their diverse classrooms. I ask for your I vote. Thank you. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-66, no zero. The measure passes. File item 284, AB 2357, Dolly. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2357 by Assembly Member Dolly and Act Lane to Water. Mr. Dolly, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam, Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, last year, SB 88, which trailer bill was passed, requiring anyone who diverted water over 10 acre feet to report that on the hour, every hour, 24 hours a day. Uh, that's complicated where you have uh, stock ponds that are out in the forest where there's dry washes that come together. They only collect rain, uh, water during the rain. And so this bill will exempt them and they won't have to report. Where there's continuous flow of water, they will still have to report over 10 acre feet. I ask for an I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. 
All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-66, no zero, the measure passes. File item 285, AB 2368, Gordon, the clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2368 by Assemblymember Gordon and others, an act related to child care and development services. Mr. Gordon, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. AB 2368 would authorize Santa Clara County to develop and implement an individualized county child care subsidy plan until January 1st of 2022. Previous legislation had authorized San Mateo County, San Francisco, and Alameda counties to establish similar pilots, and I've seen the success of these pilots firsthand. AB 2368 would give Santa Clara County the same limited local flexibility to maximize allocated funding and efficiently use child care subsidy funds in order to meet local conditions and serve the needs of more children and their working families. This bill has received no no votes and has no opposition. I respectfully ask for an aye vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The, the clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-68, no zero. The measure passes. File item 286, AB 2392, Nazarian. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2392 by Assemblymember Nazarian, an act related to taxation to take effect immediately, tax levy. Mr. Nazarian, you are recognized. Thank you for the recognition. AB 2392 establishes a tax credit of up to 30% of the qualified costs paid or incurred by a taxpayer for seismic retrofit construction on an at-risk structure over five years. As you may recall, this was a bill that unanimously passed both houses, but unfortunately was a victim of uh, the governor's uh, vetoes, uh, given the nine tax credits that were all vetoed because of the uh, uh, inaction on MCO. Now that the MCO has passed, look forward to this bill moving forward and hopefully earning his signature as well. With that, I ask for I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-68, no zero. The measure passes. File item 287, AB 2394, Eduardo Garcia. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2394 by Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia and others and Act to Medical. Mr. Garcia, you are recognized. Uh, Madam Speaker and members, uh, many medical beneficiaries report difficulty accessing health accessing healthcare uh, providers, specifically specialists, due to the lack of adequate transportation in our rural counties here in California. Uh, this bill is critical for low-income beneficiaries who may not have access to reliable transportation to get to the needed medical services. Specifically, the bill clarifies that non-medical transportation is a medical benefit and includes round-trip transportation for members to obtain covered Medi-Cal services. A similar bill was authored by our esteemed chair of the Health Committee last year, which received bipartisan support and no no votes. So I urge your support for this measure, and uh, thank you very much. Dr. Wood, you are recognized. I just rise in support of this bill and uh, look forward to, hopefully after the MCO tax has been resolved, that we'll get a signature this year. And I thank my colleague for carrying this bill. Seeing and hearing no further discussion or debate, Mr. Garcia, would you like to close? I'd just like to conclude by saying that the, this bill did make it to the governor's desk and uh, both supporters, sponsors of the bill, and uh, many of you, uh, as I would agree, believe that uh, it became an innocent bystander to the MCO conversations that were taking place. So again, I respectfully ask for your eye vote. The clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-73, no zero. The measure passes. File item 288, AB 2511, Levine. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2511 by Assemblymember Levine, an actor land of fertilizer. Mr. Levine, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This bill seeks to enhance the use of biochar. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. 
The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes I-72, no zero. The measure passes. File item 289, AB 2543, Gordon. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2543 by Assemblymember Gordon in Actualina State Buildings. Mr. Gordon, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. AB 2543 would require the California Energy Commission to develop a multi-year plan in consultation with the Department of General Services and other state agencies to take advantage of cost-effective energy efficiency and water conservation measures in state facilities. They would also be required to solicit input from other public and private entities and submit a multi-year plan to the governor. By engaging the California Energy Commission as lead on the evaluation of energy efficiency strategies, we are enabling our own experts in the field to guide our statewide strategy. I respectfully ask for an I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-67, no zero. The measure passes. File item 290, 25, AB 2564, Cooper. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2564 by Assembly Member Cooper, and actually in the vehicular air pollution. Mr. Cooper, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. AB 2564 makes improvements to the Clean Vehicle Rebate Project to make clean vehicles more accessible to a greater number of California drivers. By increasing outreach and rebate levels for low-income Californians, AB 2564 will make clean vehicles more accessible to California drivers living in communities with poor air quality. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes I-70, no zero. The measure passes. File item 291, AB 2565, Solace. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2565 by Assemblymember Solace and others and actually to public social services. Mr. Solace, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. AB 2565 will bring equity and state funding for three of the state's 28 independent living centers, which serves 10 counties. Uh, these provide disability services. Members, I respectfully ask for an I vote. Mr. Gallagher, you are recognized. Question to the author. Why doesn't this bill extend the sunset on this program? Mr. Solis, would you like to close? <laughs> there we go. Thank you for the question. Uh, Mr. Gallagher, I'd love to entertain you in my office for about five hours talking about just the sunset provision. So look forward to discussing that with you. But as it currently is, uh, we're hoping to remove that sunset and actually bring equity moving forward. So thank you. Seeing and hearing no further discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-73, no zero. The measure passes. File item 292, AB 2579, Lowe. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2579 by Assembly Member Lowe and actually to solid waste. Mr. Lowe, you are recognized. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker and members. Uh, AB 2579 requires Cal Recycle to complete a study that establishes a baseline data relating to food service packaging. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will cl open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes I-71, no zero. The measure passes. File item 293, AB 2623, Gordon. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2623 by Assembly Member Gordon and others and actually into state government. Mr. Gordon, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The state auditor has identified several weaknesses in California's cybersecurity defense. This leaves us vulnerable to attack. California has invested heavily in cybersecurity, but we do not currently track how much money various state agencies and, and, and entities spend on this activity. Lack of reporting makes it challenging to address vulnerabilities and identify departments that either might be over or perhaps underspending on cybersecurity. AB 2623 would implement a requirement for state agencies to report cybersecurity spending annually to the California Department of Technology. I'm proud of my joint authorship with the Assemblywoman from Ventura, 
who has been dedicated to this issue as chair of the Select Committee on Cybersecurity. I respectfully ask for an aye vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, the clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I 70, no zero. The measure passes. File item 294, AB 2630, Solace. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2630 by Assembly Member Solace, an act to electricity. Mr. Solace, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. AB 2630 will help uh, help us meet our 50% renewable energy goal. I respectfully ask for an aye vote. Seeing and hearing no discussion or debate, Mr. Salas, would you like to close? Please ask for an aye vote. Thank you. Clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll and tally the votes. I-70, no zero. The measure passes. File item 295, AB 2636, Linder. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2636 by Assembly Member Linder and others and actually into vital records. Mr. Linder, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. Individual, individuals seeking vital records in California suffer long wait times and pay significantly higher fees than individuals seeking records in almost every other state due to outdated statutes that govern vital records requesting policies in California. AB 2636 authorizes local governments to provide consumers with the option to complete requests for vital records entirely online. This bill has received bi wide bipartisan support, passing unanimously out of both the uh, Health Committee and Privacy Committee. I respectfully ask for an aye vote. Mr. DeBobney, you're recognized. Yeah, I just want to echo uh, my co-author's comments on this bill. This is a bill that really has strong consumer protections within it. Uh, but this is not a matter of if, but when. Uh, most of our constituents are going to require uh, these documents in the future. They're going to want access to them uh, through a digital means and be able to do so online. Uh, I do applaud uh, the committee process that made this a better bill, uh, but I want to assure all my colleagues that we took every precaution to make this a consumer-friendly bill with lots of access and ease, but also uh, a high threshold for protection. Uh, this will allow a lot of our constituents that are disabled, that are older, uh, that don't live near their facilities to be able to do this in a manner which has given them not only the ease of access, but also even stronger protections than a traditional hard form. I request an I vote on this as well. Thank you, Mr. Bobney. Seeing no additional discussion or debate on this item, Mr. Linder, you may close. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I respectfully ask for your I vote. With that, clerk will open the roll. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll. Tally the vote. I-77, no zero. Measure passes. File item 296, that's AB 2664, clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2664 by Assemblymember Irwin, an act to the University of California. Ms. Irwin, you may open. Thank you, Speaker and members. AB 2664 will increase the state support for UC innovation and entrepreneurial programs in order to start or expand business incubators. Our UC campuses are world-class research institutions. That research engine is a tremendous asset that sparks startup businesses and local economic growth. But currently, there is an unmet demand for incubator space and entrepreneurial services such as legal support and industry-based mentorship. In order to maximize economic impact, we need to expand these resources and support more innovative startups. AB 2664 will leverage our taxpayer investment into our research universities and create economic growth and new high-paying jobs. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Thank you, Ms. Irwin. Seeing no discussion or debate on the item, clerk will open the roll. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll. Tally the vote. I is 77. No zero. Measure passes. File item 297, pass and retain. File item 298. AB 2714 by Mr. Cooper. Clerk will read. 
Assembly Bill 2714 by Assemblymember Cooper and others, and Act Relating to Pest Control, making an appropriation therefore. Mr. Cooper. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. AB 2714 will restore state funding to the Pierce's Disease Control Program in the Department of Food and Agriculture to help combat pests and diseases that affect California's wine grape growing industry. This bill has support on both sides. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Ms. Gonzalez, you are recognized. Mr. Speaker, I stand in support of this and want to, again, um, thank the author for bringing such an important bill that's important to California agriculture and allows us once again to show on this floor how much we support the farmers and uh, the growers in this state. And so I'm, I'm proud that this passed through appropriations and proud that we're supporting California Ag today. I respectfully ask for an I vote. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez. Seeing no additional discussion on the item, clerk will open the roll. All members vote. Desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll. Tally the vote. I have 71. No zero. Measure passes. File item 299. AB 2728. Clerk will read. Assembly Bill 2728 by Assembly Member Atkins and an act relating to insurance. Madam Speaker Emeritus, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. AB 2728 extends the California Organized Investment Network, better known as the COIN Tax Credit Program, until January 1, 2022. The COIN program allows the Department of Insurance to award up to $10 million in tax credits each year for community development investments in primarily low to moderate income communities. The $10 million tax credit leverages an additional $50 million in community development investments. Established in 1996, COIN's purpose is to facilitate the insurance industry investments in California's underserved urban and rural communities. And since the inception, $57 million in tax credits have been awarded, supporting an additional $285 million in community development projects. Examples of projects include everything from affordable housing to community health centers to small business areas. These projects create jobs and improve the quality of life in underserved communities throughout our state. In addition, the tax credit extension uh, to the extension, AB 2728 codifies current regulations by prioritizing insurance company investments. It extends the authority for the COIN Advisory Board, makes some changes to definitions for reporting requirements. Members, the COIN tax credit currently sunsets on January 1, 2017. And without this extension, our communities will lose the support of this wonderful and much needed program. I ask for your I vote. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Emeritus, seeing no discussion or debate on the item, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll, tie the vote, I 72. No zero. Measure passes. File item 300, AB 2781. Clerk will read.